What's up, everybody? This is Nick from TheGamerAccess.com bringing you another video. I want to give a big shout out to Derek Sutphin for sending in today's topic. Please forgive me if I pronounce your last name wrong, but he basically wanted me to talk about because I did a video a couple days ago saying that you really don't need to use Blu-ray for your games to look really good. I mean, some of these games are still on single-layer disc, and some of 360 games look amazing, but. He's basically asking, them, what is it? Does the PS4 have the best developers? Is it all the cell processor? Well, basically, is the cell processor smoking mirrors? Now, you might be like, okay, what's this guy talking about? Okay, the cell processor is very important. I'm not saying it's not important at all, because that's one of the main components for why the games look so good. But, it's not just the cell processor. It has to do a lot with the developers, but we'll get to that in a second. Now, a 360. I'd say their most their most popular exclusives are Halo 3, which Halo 3 does use its own engine, but Gears of War 2 doesn't. It's using Unreal Engine 3, which has been used since 2005. If you don't believe me, you can research it. It's been used since 2005. So it's been used ever since this generation started with the Xbox 360. It's a pretty old engine. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't look good. I mean, Unreal, um, for Gears of War 2 looks amazing. Do not get me wrong. But, it's just, get, they're getting to the point where they're kind of overusing it. I mean, Mass Effect, that's another 360 exclusive. It, there's rumors of Mass Effect 2 coming to PS3, but I'll believe it when I see it. But, that uses the Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine 3. Uh, Lost Odyssey used Unreal Engine 3. And there's a ton of multi-platform games that do it as well. And I'm not saying they don't look good. They look really good. But, you might be saying, why aren't these games up to par with the PS3s? That's the reason, basically, because, okay, the PS3 does have the cell processor, overall, it's a more powerful console, blah, 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 I'm not going to argue over that, but the thing is that, okay, with Sony, look at Killzone 2, Killzone 2 is its own engine, it's been in development for five years, at least five years, from what we know, so, yeah, the game looks incredible, but it took five years to make it, I mean, if you make, if you take five years to make a game, I would hope it'd look good, and they put over 50 million dollars into it and they built their own engine that's why the game looks so good they didn't just bank off someone else's engine they built build it from bottom up on the cell processor so of course it's going to look amazing uncharted uncharted uses its own engine that's another ps3 exclusive uncharted 2 uses its own engine it's going to be improved obviously if you're on the beta you could tell there's a leap a big difference melgar solid 4 used its own engine Many of these PS3 exclusives use its own engine. These developers, okay, we build our own engine on this cell processor. Nothing else. We don't have to worry about anything else. Let's just build our own engine that works only with the cell processor. Now, with the 360, they're like, okay, we're going to use the Unreal Engine 3. So, basically, you're kind of limiting yourself. Now, once again, I'm not saying it doesn't look good because Gears of War 2 looks incredible. But it's not up to par with the Killzone 2 and stuff like that. Is partially because of that, the engines. Now, cell processor is a big part of it because they have to build the engine on something, and the more powerful hardware they have to build it on, the better it's going to look. But if the PS3, I don't care if the PS3 had freaking 100 cell processors in it, if you put Unreal Engine 3 on it, it's not going to look much better than the 360s. It's based off the engine that's built for the hardware. I don't care how great the PS3 hardware is, it's all based off of the engine. Because if you have the engine, uh, Unreal Engine 3, built for the 360, and you put it on a PS3 that just has 100 cell processors, just because it has 100 cell processors doesn't, isn't going to make it look better, it was built for the 360. Now, un I'm not saying Unreal Engine 3 was built for the P uh, 360, because it wasn't. It was built for the PC. And actually, in E3 2005, Epic Games announced that they were going to specify the engine on the PS3. They said that they were going to work hard on it. If you actually watch E3 2007 conference, they actually showed it off a bit. But the whole thing is, it all comes down to the hardware, what hardware they built the engine off of, which is why multi-platform games, they look good. Don't get me wrong, Resident Evil 5 looks freaking amazing. But it's, you're having to, you can't build a game on the 360 and make it look better than the hardware can take. Basically, you have to build it for that hardware that's inside of it. So that's the whole reason why, I mean, 360, they're doing better. Like, Alan Wake, that's using its own engine. The game looks freaking unbelievable. 
Forza, two, Forza Motorsport 2 and Forza 3 looks, Forza 3 looks unbelievable. I think it's up to par with Gran Turismo. People can argue over that. I'm not going to argue with that. That's just stupid arguments. But just play the game and have fun. But Forza 3 looks absolutely incredible. Splinter Cell Conviction is using its own engine. So, I mean, these games look incredible. Why? Because they have their own engine. They aren't just taking an engine that was built several years ago. They're building their own engine and making it look as best as it could on that specific hardware. So that makes perfect sense to me. And that's basically my opinion and why I think the PS3 games look better. I mean, yeah, Blu-ray, that does it. You can fit more textures and more details and stuff like that. But it all comes down to these engines. Like I said, if all these companies just use Unreal Engine 3, you would not be seeing games like Killzone. If Killzone 2 used Unreal Engine 3, it just look like, like another Unreal Tournament. It would not look like um, Killzone 2 does right now. It has its own engine built on the PS3. So, let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Um... That's basically all I was going to talk about today, and uh, be sure tomorrow to check out Gamer on Duty, Dave on thegameraccess.com. We're doing a little round table tonight, so be sure to check that out. We'll be talking about this. We're going to have, I don't know how many people, like five, six people on there. We're actually going to discuss this. So if you want to hear just more than my opinion, you can listen to like five or six other people and give their opinion on it. Be sure to check out Gamer on Duty. It'll be live on thegameraccess.com tomorrow, so be sure to check it out. Thank you for contacting me, Derek. I appreciate it. Anyone else can contact me with the email address below. I'm getting a lot of responses. I want to thank you all for that. And be sure to leave a comment. Let me know how I did, how I can improve, and what you think of my views on the topic. So thank you for watching. Be sure to check back tomorrow for another one. Peace. <laughs>